this step, we will set up our Slack on No Red to broadcast messages. So there are a few steps to do so. Uh, firstly, we'll log in our Slack account. Then set up a a function is called webhook. Then we will integrate the webhook to our no red node. Then we will test the message. Then let's go. I believe that you already have your Slack account set up earlier. So let's go to our Slack dot com. Then log into your team. Okay, as you can see that uh, I have my team set up over here, and uh, when you set it up, you must have your user username and password to log in. Then remember that we have to go here you can see the menu site there is a, a tab is called apps and integrations then let's go to this here uh, this place then please set search webhook and we will choose incoming webhook now we want to set up a webhook for our system to integrate this uh, slack to our system and also that our mobile phone to receive the messages through Slack. Okay, so that's click here, add configuration. Okay, and uh, first, firstly, uh, we need to set up a channel. Okay, so I would love you can choose existing channel or we can do that a new channel. I would prefer a, a, a new channel for our for this purpose. Firstly, you can make it private. Okay, so I would uh, use the family locations okay and you will not allow the space so I will use family locations as my channel okay so purpose is optional so I will say that locations send invites I can invite other team member or you can do it later Okay, so I believe that you have your way to set it up. So you can, you know, choose other members over here. And something like I can, you know, invite somebody else over here. So I believe that you have your, you have your way to do that. So let me create a channel. Okay, so as you can see, See that uh, this channel is already there family locations so let me add incoming webhooks integration so here is a URL for our webhook okay and here are some you know integrations message okay we for uh, we don't do that at this moment we coming here integration settings and uh, the same URL as we can see that then I will give it a name for family location okay then we choose 
a a image. Okay, so that is for uh, the C that uh, if we look at the message, Slack message, you're gonna see that. Uh, Uh, let me open up so you can see that. Okay, so we're gonna choose the logo or image from your message. Okay, so let's choose a uh, let's choose a uh, image I like. Maybe I choose a fish for now. Okay, so I can save setting right now. Okay, as you can see that my setting already saved. But I would need a webhook URL from here. So let me copy that. Then give it to my credential notes. So I keep it here, Slack webhook and this webhook URL. Okay, we will use it later. So let's go to NORAD to set up. Okay, I want to to go down to the lower workflow. Okay, as you can see that there is a node is called Slack under LoRa GPIs on on track first first, first uh, workflow, and there is a node over here is called Slack. Okay, so that's open it up then replace the URL sorry replace the URL we just get from slack okay and I would choose a post name okay so that will be the name about here so you can choose your name I would choose the Howard 2 how to okay then get it done okay when I have uh, uh, made the changes remember that we have to click deploy to apply the changes and it says successfully deployed okay so let me check if my message is already set up okay if the channel is set up I would receive a message from here let's go to my channel okay my channel go back to my message channel I'm sorry over here let's go to my channel then you would expect a message from here is called family locations okay you could receive a message from here and you would expect to receive the uh, let me go to my channels I should have a channels is called okay 
and I can receive a message message from family locations on my map, on my app, on my mobile app. Okay, so let me do that. Let me do that and come back here. So that's fire a message. So please, let's click here. So if I click here, that means it will simulate a message, a location event message. Then the message will be sent in here. Then it will trigger a message to the Slack. So our Slack will push a message to our app. Okay, that's how it goes. So let's do that. Let me fire a message. As you can see that uh, I put a message here. I will explain how we get the message. So let's see that we just send a message. So send a message here and here. Then we expect that we will receive a new message with the Howard two and fish and the message to our Slack account. Okay, and I can expect the same from family locations as well so let's see that okay so we can see that the message is over here okay so let me do that again just to see what it looked like okay so let me fire a message okay you can see that a message is going here okay so that's why that's how we receive the message and even the application is closed let's see what happened okay I have fire two messages so you can see that uh, we have to unread message from the app. So that's it for this step. I will explain how we got the message from here and how we, you know, set up the geofence on uh, on mobile phone later. Next. So see ya.